Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Talking Bullion. I got another package in the mail. As you can see here, it's a rather large package, bigger than what I usually get when I order something. And kind of hard to tell the depth of it, but I'll come down here and we can scoot back a little bit. You can see it's a pretty good size box. We're going to open it up, see what's inside there, and see what we have this time. So why don't we go ahead and take a look. Alright, so let me just tell you, this box is pretty heavy. Can I lift it up with my one hand without it sliding around? And so, what do you think's in here? Could it be every Morgan dollar from every mint mark ever made? Boy, that would be a pretty heavy box. Could it be several kilos of silver? Maybe some Scottsdale stackables. That would be a pretty heavy box. What else could it be? Maybe lots of tubes of silver eagles? Oh, I hope that's what's in the box. But I don't know. We're going to have to find out. Alright, so here we go. I can't put this into my camera holder because it doesn't go this high. So I'm going to have to hold on to this thing, make you guys a little dizzy or seasick here. And let's go ahead and slice this open from there. Let's come over here. My little talking bullion. Nice little round sitting down there. It's not in focus, of course. Let's come over here. Let's cut this. It's hard to cut and have the camera in the right place. Let's go ahead and pop this thing open. Oh man. What is in here? Let's open this one up too far because it's going to hit on the stuff. Okay. So what do you think? Have you guessed yet? Some of you who watched the live stream may know by this point it was a question in the live stream a week or two ago. Well, this is a pretty curious box how they set this stuff in here. Look at this. They use this as a holder for a top. Isn't that cool? Look at this. I, can, I don't want to save this box. This box could be used for a lot of different things. So somebody's moving or just to put something you don't want to shake it around. I love the way that closes that off. Alright. So what do we have here? Have you guessed yet? A little bit of a clue? Here we go. And I want you guys to know before I pull this out of here, I'm not affiliated with this company at all. I just love their products. So here we go. Oh, yes, indeed. We've got ourselves some hot cherry peppers from Bellevue. Quality since 1930. Only 10 calories. All right. So that's not too bad, but yeah, these things are really, really good. I don't know if you've had these before. I don't know if they have them in your state or not, because I know that... Uh, Certain states do not sell it. I couldn't find it locally. So I bought some from the company. Alright. But I bought more than just one, as you can tell. Let's see what's over on this side. Hmm. Looks like that's a plastic cap on it. What is this? Oh, uh, yep. This is what was on the live stream the other day. This is some hoagie spread. Now this stuff is awesome as well. Let me put the camera down. I'll be right back. Alright. 
That's a little tough to get open, but here we go. Hot chapped hoagie spread. As most of you know, that follow me. I'm a big hot sauce Tabasco slash pepper fan. And this stuff does have a nice kick to it. Look at this stuff. Oh man. This stuff is delicious. Whether you put it on your eggs, whether you put it on uh, oh you can just put it on almost anything. It says it's hoagie spread, so a sandwich. But I'll tell you what, this is good stuff. And this is only five calories per tablespoon. Alright. So if you like it spicy folks, you will really enjoy this stuff. So we got a hot peppers here. Got some hoagie spread there. Let's see what's in this pouch here. Ooh, look at that. Some more hoagie spread. Second bottle of hoagie spread. Look over here in this little pouch area. Look at those things. And these are spicy, folks. These aren't the uh, mild ones you get from the grocery store. These have got a huge kick to them. So, so far we've got two and two. Getting towards the last compartment. Another hoagie spread. Hot chat hoagie spread. Alright. Finally. jar of hot peppers you know if you're going to order them and you're going to pay for the shipping you might as well order a bunch of them right see right there hot hot oh let's not forget their fancy yeah these things are delicious I recommend them again not affiliated with all of you in any way a good company, been around a long time. So what do you guys think, huh? This is a little bit different unboxing for me, but you can see, got some good quality condiment type food that is really good with just about anything you eat. And I thought you would enjoy seeing an unboxing of a hot topic, which is hot peppers and hoagie spread. Thanks for watching. Take care. And always remember, let's keep talking bullion.